this video talks through nine examples of so car toa. Now to begin with, we'll set up three important equations. Now, if we know an angle, the three sides have a name given to them as follows. The long side is always called the hypotenuse, which we'll call H. The side opposite the angle is called the opposite, we'll call O, and the side next to the angle is called the adjacent, which we will call A. And from this we can derive three equations which link to so ka toa and these are sin x is O over H cos x is A over H and tan x is O over A hence the SOH CAH TOA these are three separate equations and the next nine examples will talk through how these separate equations can be used the first sheet is all linked to sine we have three separate triangles there to show why they are all sine is as follows here's an angle this is H and this is the opposite angle OH sine angle opposite H sine angle be very careful here opposite H is still sine H is always the long side and O is always opposite the angle and each of these can be solved to find the missing letter now triangle 1 the equation is sine x is opposite O hypotenuse so sine x is opposite over hypotenuse and to find x we want to get rid of the sine next to it and on the calculator there's a button called inverse sine it's where you press either shift or inverse and x equals the inverse function of sine of 5 over 12 and if you work this out on a calculator you will get 26.62 degrees it's important that if you cannot use a calculator to work out the inverse sign when finding an angle to speak with a teacher who can talk you through the calculator use for your particular calculator second one sine of the angle is opposite over hypotenuse so in this case sine of the angle in this case we now know the angle is the opposite which is unknown we'll call B over the hypotenuse which is 15 and to find the missing letter this time is a bit of algebra in the first example we wanted the angle which was within the sign but now we want the side which is not with the sign and there's a 15 down here now inverse functions say we times through by 15 so 15 times sine of 46 will give us B this can then be put into a calculator to get that B is equal to 
0.58 and that is the side B. Now the third example from the same logic it's still sine so sine 43 is opposite over hypotenuse which is unknown and somehow we've got to solve this equation to find Q well in the example before we times through by the 15 so in this case Q times sine 43 equals 14 but we want to find what Q is so to find Q we do Q is 14 divided by sine 43 that is worked out on a calculator and it turns out to be 21 degrees rounded to the nearest whole number so they are the three examples involving sine and now we'll talk through cos and tan using the same argument.